Hello everybody. I am in the middle of making mini pencil bows and this is using the KS Craft cutting dies and I have also been using the uh, sketchbook, I think that's what it's called and I have been cutting away and so I'm gonna show you that this bow set comes with three different sizes which is really great so you can use it for many different projects and choose the size accordingly so this is the biggest bow that it cuts out and then it makes it this size here then you have the medium size then you have the small size so it's like these then you also get all of these wonderful bits to decorate your pencil bow and then this is the largest part of the pencil bows and what I've done is I die cut the top part where it's like the wooden part of the pencil and that's like the eraser part or the metal part of the top part of the pencil I use the gold glitter cardstock and I think it's so wonderful with the pale pink and all I've done so far is glue that, that, and then made the bow and glue it into the middle part of the bow. And originally I was going to mix and match the patterns, but I realized it actually looks really nice to match the bow color with the same pattern paper you use for the base of the pencil bow. So that's what I have done so far. I've got this one here as well and this time I did make it a black pencil and I think that's really elegant also. Then I have this one here. This was a pattern paper that had the lovely swan and I really adored the tiny daisy print so I really wanted to use that and this time I made the, the top part and this part here pale pink and then I use the glitter cardstock for the pencil part. Then I have this one here, which is the middle size. Now this one, I decided to double layer the bow. So using the medium size and the small size, I just glued them together. And I, what I need to do to this is to add the end part and also decorate the middle. The KS Craft Bow Set does give you the middle rectangular piece that you can wrap around, but I decided to use some other materials that I have, such as some ruffle ribbon, and I've also got this velvety color here, which I want to try and use. Then I've also got this lovely sequin thread, and I think I want to wrap this all around the bow. And I think that's going to look really, really pretty. I've also got these middle size ones where I have used the holographic cardstock for this part and this part here. And mixture of the black against the champagne gold, I thought that was really pretty as well. So I've got variety of bows happening here. And I also wanted to finish it off on video so you guys get to see how I go about doing things and what you can do as well in the future. So I've got these little ones here. The base is all done. All I need to do is now add some bows to the middle, which is what I will do. And in the Bia Valent sketchbook collection there is this beautiful pattern of the bows and I think that is just so pretty so I'm going to use my glue gun to add some glue in the middle and we're just going to stick it on like this now with the pencil bow you can decide to make the pencil pointy part facing the right or you can make it to point towards the left. It's entirely up to you. So I will do that. Then I have this one here. So you've got to also decide, do you like the pattern on the back side of it or the front side? I decided to go with the front side of it.
and this bow has been designed so nicely that it's really easy to know where to put things so for example if you cut this bow out what you need to do is when you fold it so if you fold too much the other side is going to look like this so if you just match that rounded bit there to the back part of the rounded bit and you just glue it like this see then it's like a perfect match at the back and the front that's what you have to do so you just glue the middle part and making sure you fold it so that the front part of the rounded bit and the back part is matching together then using that middle part of the rectangular space that's where you're going to layer straight on see that rectangular base there so you're going to put it on there right there it's super easy to put together and it's so fun just choose your pattern papers and colors that you want to do and then go ahead. Now with the large one, you can leave it like this and just decorate with ribbon. So let's try that. Now I've got this um, nice hot pink velvety trim that was gifted to me in my recent Happy Mail. And I absolutely love this color. So to add the ribbon, what you want to do is you put the glue in the middle first. Like this. Now, I it doesn't matter which direction you do it because the pattern goes all... Pattern direction is not that important in with this design. So you put a little bit like this to start. Then you're going to put some glue at the back. this then you're going to do this then you're going to wrap it around a couple times now because I'm wrapping the ribbon couple times when I finish gluing off which I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna cut a little bit off here and then now let me show you again so I'm gonna wrap it around here and then I'm gonna wrap it again then I'm going to glue that into the middle. And by doing that, it's going to give me freedom to add a jump ring at the bottom to dangle some pretty enamel charms if I wanted to. So there is, because I didn't add glue to the bottom part of the ribbon, I am able to add a large jump ring there and add an enamel charm to hang off it if I wanted to. So I chose this color to match it with this color here. So you can definitely, most likely, pick a yellow one or a pink one or even a darker khaki green for the middle. So it's so much easier for you to decide which color to add to the middle by just looking at the pattern paper. Now there are wonderful crafters out there. They have so many wonderful ideas. I always like to share some things that a beginner crafter or someone who is very new to crafting to know these things for future use. So I've got this one here. Now with this one, I am going to try something a little different. I'm thinking I might go with the sequin. So let's try to find the beginning of this one. Now, usually I'm not very good at finding the beginning piece, beginning part, but maybe this is it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to get enough out. This. And with this one, it's definitely a little bit more difficult to glue. So with when you're using string like this, this is another thing I wanted to share. When you're using thin string, you need to wrap it around a little bit like this first and then what when you have enough there you just add a bit of glue gun like this right then you continue to add all around it so you just continue like this and continue until you have enough coverage and enough color. So I don't want to see any green bits in the middle. So I'm going to unravel this a bit more. 
and then I'm just going to cover it more add some more to the left side now I can finish it off by now don't chop it off it'll be more difficult if you chop this off early so add some glue to the back right then you're going to wrap it a couple more times yeah like that and then you cut it off like this and then you just wait a couple seconds then you can push it with your hand like this okay to finish it off and i think that color looks really nice also so i've got those two done like that they're very pretty now i have these little ones to do now if you are not into wrapping the middle part with like trims and ribbons and things like that you can add like gem stickers right in the middle that would fit that size or you can stick on enamel charm in the middle as well it's entirely up to you so many wonderful ways to create your bows and make it interesting now with this double one i am definitely going to be adding some trim and i think with this one i kind of want to do a pink and yellow combo so i have this trim here so i am going to start by adding the glue in the middle go and i am going to glue like this to start then i will put some glue at the back this and then i will go around a couple times one two and then i'm going to now cut it off here and I will add glue again to the middle so I have space to add a jump ring if I choose to later on. So I have this. Now, if you have a little bit sticking out, all you have to do is just trim it a little bit more off the back and then it's already done. See? So you can mix the colors to suit the pattern paper you can do double bows you can leave it as single you can add enamel charms you can add you know flat pieces for example let's see I've got some like things like this you can add to the middle like this see and it's very very pretty you don't have to bother um, putting ribbon around it or wrap the paper around it to complete the bow. You can just do whatever you want to add. You can add even, you know, resin, cabochon piece like that. But I wouldn't use this one with this. i probably go for something more plain. Let's see. What else could I... For example... If you wanted to add something like this, enamel charm to the middle of your bow, you can definitely do that. And then you can even choose to dangle something from here as well if you wanted to. Or add, um, just add a jump ring there and dangling, dangle it on your tote bag and things. So those are some of the things that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you had fun watching me put some bows together. I am now going to go off and think about how to complete the rest of the bow. And I will insert the picture and show you guys my completed bows. Here are my finished bows and I really, really love the centers. They all look very different and unique and I had a lot of fun choosing what to put in the middle. Thank you so much for being here everybody. Have an exquisite day. Bye for now.